Hello, everybody. I accidentally hit the like go live button and I'm like still trying to adjust things. I'm not sure how that happened, but good morning. Welcome. Hello. It's all like crooked. Sorry. Let's see if we can get that fixed. Okay, there. It looks straight to me now. Hopefully it's straight for everybody that's on as well. So welcome, welcome. Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. It's another fabulous, fabulous Friday, right? Um, let's see, what is going on and why is it not showing me? It says that people are on, but I can't see who. So say hi so I can see who it is, okay? I'm always curious to know who's watching with us. Um, so yeah, let's see what's going on. Um, I'm gonna kind of jump right in because um, Mary Ann, freezing cold in Iowa, huh? Oh, you know what, it's pretty cold here too, but I've been running around like a maniac, so I've got my short sleeve shirt on for right now. By the end of the video, I'll probably be freezing myself. Um, yeah, it's like, what the heck happened to the weather, right? It was like 80 degrees, I don't know, a day or two ago, and now it's like 40 or 50. So I hear you, Marianne. Oh my gosh, yeah. it's This is like the crazy time of year, right? So hopefully everybody's doing well. Um, so yeah, I wanted to put out a couple of quick reminders. Um, one thing I was thinking of, I know I kind of mentioned that weekend retreat that I'm doing. So I gave the wrong dates last time. So I want to make sure to clarify. I mean, they're, they were kind of about right, but not quite. So it is November 16th through the 18th. So that is Friday, Saturday, Sunday here in Lansing, Michigan. So if anybody is interested, Wendy, good morning, hello, how are you? Um, let me know because this is such an awesome weekend. You, We start at like four o'clock on Friday and I usually stay up until like one or two o'clock in the morning. So 4 p.m. to like one or 2 a.m., that's a huge amount of time to get a bunch of stuff done. And then all day Saturday, and then um, we do cut it off, I think it's like, we usually pack up around noon on Sunday. I think we have the room until about two o'clock. So you do have a good stretch of time, especially if you're a morning person, you can get up and still get a ton done on Sunday too. So um, we, what I forgot to mention was, so you get a goodie bag valued at $50. We feed you all weekend long. We make lots of cute like prizes, pillow gifts and things. We play games like bingo and there are other like raffles and prizes that we do. And then what's the other thing that's totally, oh, I know. It was like, it was in my brain and then it went away and now, hi Joyce, oh my gosh, hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, so yeah, the weekend. The one thing though that I for always forget to mention is my partner, Melissa and I, we bring all of our um, supplies. So she brings all of her ink pads and her markers and I'm trying to think of what else. Well, between the two of us, we bring all of our stamp sets, all of our punches, all of our big shot accessories. So you have access to all that stuff all weekend long. It's the same thing at the one day retreat. I bring my stamp sets, my punches, and all my big shot stuff. But in addition, Melissa brings her ink pads and her markers, and I feel like there's something else. But anyway, so there's just a ton of stuff that you can use and play with our stuff and decide if it's something that you, know, you enjoy or if you just wanna use it for the weekend. Um, so I'm just letting everybody know, um, ah, yay, you found us. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing well, Joyce. Um, <clears throat> yeah, RSVPs are due, I think it's October 25th. I, of course, don't have that note right here in front of me, but it's coming up. So I wanted to make sure everybody knows about that because it is just such a great like treat for yourself all weekend long. So, and then I think I said earlier, I have class down at the stamp studio in a little bit. That's why I'm... <laughs> <laughs> my mind and my mouth are already going a million miles an hour because I want to make sure that I give you guys a great Facebook Live, but then that I also make sure to get to the stamp studio in time for class. So let's see. Um, oh, that's funny. Let's see. Wendy's saying, yeah, it will pop up saying you were on and then you had to look for you. I think I'm on the group, right? Somebody make tell me, make sure, right? We're on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group because I know there's going to be a day when I like get on to my personal, my Amy Ferlici page <laughs> and start going live on there. But it hasn't happened yet, but it, it's going to happen someday, I'm sure. So I think I'm on... I think I did search that first. So, all right, hopefully. Um, so let's do our first drawing. I've got my little paper pumpkin bag here. Did anybody take advantage of that flash sale that we had to for paper pumpkin? That was just earlier this week. Um, I guess the whole, you know, the beginning of October. You could get a kit for just $5. That is amazing. It's an amazing deal. Normally they're $20, which is still an amazing deal 
because everybody knows like in paper pumpkin right you always get a cute stamp set you always get an ink spot they give you directions on the projects that you are going to be putting together oh that's weird she's saying Brandy's saying it just popped up a minute ago maybe i have a slow connection or something sorry hopefully well you didn't miss too much and you can always rewind and listen to the beginning if there's anything you were worried about missing um okay but back to paper pumpkin yeah paper pumpkin so but marianne it's over but you know what they do they've been like really promoting paper pumpkin um and it was just for the first it was just for the first month and then if you kept up your um subscription then it would go to twenty dollars a month but yeah it was only five dollars if you signed up so when they say new subscribers basically you have to use a new email address so even if you've subscribed before and they say new subscribers only just give them a new email address and then you're a new subscriber again. Um, but yeah, that was just for like, you know, the first 10 days in October. So that's passed. But like I said, they've been doing lots of promotions, so I'm sure it'll come up again. Um, but back to Paper Pumpkin too, they, you know, they, the kit is awesome. They just, every single month they have like blown it out of the park. I just made the Halloween. Um, hi Tammy. Hello. How are you? I just made the Halloween projects that were in our September kit and they are so cute. It's funny because sometimes I'll see them even like, you know, on, um, I don't know, on Pinterest or somebody's blog or wherever. And I'm like, oh, those are okay. But I tell you what, then when you get stuff out and you start playing with it, it's, it's so much more fun. I just was, oh, plus they're really cute, like little Halloween treats. So I have some new neighbors around the corner. So I kind of kept a few in a stash. I'm like, I'm going to go give these to the new neighbors. So think about that. Lots of, you know, fun ways that you can kind of spread the joy and the love and cute Halloween treats too. So, um, but what was the other thing I was saying? So with Paper Pumpkin, they always give you kind of the you know, the step-by-step -step how to put things together. There's a little pamphlet with pictures, but they also do a YouTube video every single month that shows someone like putting the kit together. So depending on, you know, if you're like the visual learner or if you like to read instructions, um, what is Marianne asking? Well, hi Nancy too, I see you just hopped on. Marianne, yes, it is usually about $20 a month. So it's $20 plus sales tax, you know, for whatever state you live in. Um, but yeah, it's normally $20. So sometimes they'll do like a half off deal. Sometimes they'll do this flash sale where it was only $5. So it's still, like I said, it's always an awesome deal, but obviously for $5, that is huge. So I, I posted about that on our group too. So I try to keep everybody informed. So hop on there. I'm, I post about every single day. So um, hopefully you get the email notifications about things that I post. If not, just hop on there. You know, most people are on Facebook every day. So just hop on to the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group and I'll make sure to keep you informed. And I've been emailing about it too. So, oh, that was the other thing. Um, here, I'm already like, woo, all over the place, right? So what am I drawing for here? I'm like standing here shaking this all up. I've been sidetracked by my paper pumpkin bag. But what are we giving away? We are giving away the Fast Fuse today. I am still in love with this and I just wish that we hadn't retired it. Maybe they'll come back with something similar. Um, this is awesome. It's a great alternative to tear and tape. Um, but with that being said, if you have fast fuse and when you run out of it, although I have a bunch on like in my stash too, so if you ever need any, just let me know. I have the new um, fast fuses and then I have refills also. Um, <clears throat> um, but this, so use this obviously while you can, but then tear and tape is another super awesome, like serious sticky adhesive. So I use fast fuse for a lot of my 3D projects. And then, like I said, when I run out, then I'll be going to the tear and tape. So, um, but that's what we're drawing for. But I, I'm starting something new too, okay? So you always get one entry into this drawing, right? If you comment, you get three entries if you share the video. And now, if you are not currently signed up for my email list, for, um, yeah, my email newsletter and all of, uh, so I email really regularly. Anybody that's on my email list will tell you that. But I, I always jokingly say you will never not know what's going on if you sign up for my email list. So if you're not already signed up for my email list, if you do that, then you get another three entries into this drawing. So, you know, you can't do that more than once, but I want to make sure everybody knows what's going on too. So sign up for my email list if you're not already signed up. I will include the link in the comments. Um, and you can find that right on my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com. So, all right, here we go. But that's one, a new way to get your name in this drawing. Okay, so I'm shaking everything up. And let's see, get one entry. 
Okay, here we go. I feel like I have three or four, so let me get make sure one is left in my hand. Ha ha, Miss Nancy Gulick. Where can you see? Right there, if I get it right in the right light. So Nancy, I think you're coming to card class at one o'clock. So I will bring your fast fuse down for you. Actually, I'm gonna go put it right near my purse right this minute, so hold on one sec. Then I won't forget Ooh, to bring it with me. You know what, and I'm already like cotton mouthy and I'm like, where's my water? All right, whoo, boy. The sun's coming out too, yay! Isn't that awesome? All right, so let me get rid of these. I'm gonna get my next drawing ready to go also. Okay, um, my notes, my notes, my notes. So you guys wanna know what we're gonna give away this week? Oh, what's Mary, let's see. Oh yeah, you just have to pay attention. <laughs> so I wasn't chastising you, Marianne, I promise. Um, I just thought, okay, if somebody doesn't know what's going on, if you check the Facebook group and if you sign up for my email list, you'll always know what's going on, I promise you. Um, I do try to post things on my blog too, but I've been a, there, it's hard to maintain everything. So I try to get everything on there, but really email and Facebook are the two like absolute for sure ways you'll always know what's going on. Um, so, okay, this is what we're gonna give away this week. Oh my gosh, I love. So these are the little Santa's workshop elements and you can see, so they've got the little Christmas trees, they've got, those are little snowflakey pieces down at the, kind of just above. These are bows, they're upside down, obviously, and then they've got a couple of different sizes, let me make sure, yep. Um, red, green, and white little polka dotty. So here, if we turn them this way, then the bows look right, but then the trees are upside down. But they're so cute. So one entry for commenting, three entries if you share the Facebook Live video, make sure you put a quick comment on there. And then another three entries if you are not signed up for my email list, um, do that and then your name will go in the drawing three times to win this cute little pack of Santa's Workshop, what are they calling, enamel shapes. Yep, Santa's Workshop enamel shapes. So that'll be for the drawing for next week, okay? Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So we have had so many um, good things happening in the Inkspired Stampers group lately. My latest, um, oh yeah, they are super cute, aren't they, Joyce? Yes, they really, really are. Um, those, and they've got the little uh, mini glue dot on the back of them too, so they're really easy to, you know, get onto projects also. So, um, oh yeah, okay, so I was talking about my Inkspired Stampers group. So our latest friend that has gotten to qualified recruit status is Miss Kim Klein. She reached $900 in orders just, I think it was this week. So she's at qualified recruit status. So she gets a $25 shopping spree from me as a congratulations and thank you for getting on her way um, after purchasing the starter kit, basically. So she's actually halfway to Bronze Elite, which is $1,800 in sales, and then she's gonna get 25% off of all her orders. And I tell you what, it's so fun, that extra 5% off of your orders, basically, so you pay like 75%, whatever catalog price is when you get to Bronze Elite, you pay 75% of that and that's it. So it's an awesome, awesome deal. So congratulations, Miss Kim, we're very excited for you. Um, okay, let's see what's next. Let's do our next drawing, you want to? That's sweet, ladies, Wendy and Joyce. That's Kim's, was, she's been working hard on that too. I know she's been kind of scheduling things out, which is awesome, you know, we all work within a budget, so there's never an expectation you have to go crazy and do it all super quickly, but you know, the slow and steady wins the race. Somebody else was just talking about that um, the other day. So yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Um, okay, so let's do our next drawing, okay? This was the drawing that I announced last week, where if you put an online order in of at least $30, your name went into the drawing to win. So those are the awesome striped treat bags and then those cute craft pillow boxes. I don't know if you can see the polka dots that are on there too, right? Because they are just so cute. So these are awesome gift giving kind of things, right? For Halloween, maybe for kind of fall treats, Thanksgiving, for Christmas. So, okay. Um, I actually had a couple of online orders this week. So let me, I, I just put those names in this bag again. I'm shaking them around. And the winner is, let's see, 
Miss Tammy Mitchell. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if I, I'm always like, I know if I get it in the right light. It's not working though today, is it? Okay, well I promise it's Tammy's name on here. <laughs> okay, so Tammy, I will get these sent out to you. Congratulations, that is awesome. Okay, you guys wanna know what we're gonna give away this week? So if you put in an online order this week, ooh, I gotta make sure my, I know that paper's here. <laughs> I'll give you the host code in just a few minutes when we move the camera down. Um, it's funny because I, I don't have it right out here in front of me, so I'm like panicking, but I'm pretty sure it's underneath <laughs> the other stuff on the table here. So I will make sure. So I'll give you the host code. If you spend at least $30, you are going to get the projects that I'll demonstrate in a little bit, and your name goes in the drawing to win. This is the awesome Buffalo check stamp set. Well, not stamp set. It is the, um, what do you call it? A background stamp. So you, oh my gosh, this has just become an absolute favorite of so many people. There are tons and tons and tons of ideas out there with this stamp set. So cute. And we are actually making a card today. I'm going to show you that in just a sec. Down at the stamp studio for our simple, beautiful card class this week. We had class on Wednesday night and we have class on Friday afternoon today. Um, but the best part is use your stamp apparatus. It makes stamping this buffalo check stamp it's it's amazing so you you know you put this whole stamp right on your clear plate on your stamp apparatus right then you ink it up and you put it down on your paper and if you don't press hard enough and don't get all the ink on it you can always flip it back open and do it again or if you need more ink flip it flip it back open put more ink on it and then flip it back down it is awesome it this is oh my gosh just so much fun i think wendy's saying that she just got hers yesterday awesome yes 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 so you guys are gonna love this if you don't have this already i'm gonna show you so this is a super duper cute card that a friend of mine eric serwin at pink buckaroo designs she Oh my gosh, if you guys have not checked out her blog yet, you have to because she has so many cute and amazing projects. I basically love everything that she does. So she's one of those people whenever I'm like, I need something quick or I'm stuck on, you know, oh, I don't have a good idea. I always go to Pink Buckaroo Designs and she's like, she's all, she never fails. She always has amazing ideas. So check out, this is a super cute and it's gonna be backwards, but it uses that Buffalo Check stamp that's in a soft suede ink. And then can you see the other really super cool thing? This is that galvanized metallic paper that we ran through that corrugated embossing folder. So isn't that, oh my gosh, it's kind of like, industrial looking almost but then with the beautiful fall leaves on it from that's from the falling for leaves stamp set um and then the framelits the detailed leaves framelits but isn't that oh my gosh it's this is just a gorgeous card so that was i should have said sneak peek alert we're making this today if you're coming to class and you're watching right now um, i'll have this card down at the studio by one o'clock so you could actually make it um, but yeah, I just had to show you guys because basically it's the Buffalo Check background stamp that made this super cute card right here. So I absolutely love. So yeah, I have not demoed this stamp, but that is an awesome idea. I feel like I need a pen so I can write that down. I'm going to try to remember. If not, remind me, okay, Marianne? Because yes, I think it's a great thing to see how you actually ink this up and use your stamp apparatus. Because um, it's funny, with um, these background stamps, I used to always buy the big wood mount stamps um, because I didn't like to have to, you know, peel the clear, you know, peel this off and put it on a clear block. I didn't feel like I could ever get that on there very well. But now I'm only buying clear mount because I have my Stamparatus, so I don't even need the wood block or the huge clear block. You just use your Stamparatus basically as your clear block for stamping with our background stamps. And it just makes it so easy to line everything up. So yes, I am gonna remember, but like I said, you remind me too, okay? That we'll do that, we'll do a, a demo on using that background stamp because it, it's awesome. And like I said, if it doesn't stamp right the first time, just ink it back up and flip it back down and it's like beautiful, precise, wonderful. So yeah, so someone's gonna win that hopefully. Hi Susie, how are you? Good morning, I'm glad you could join us. Okay, let's see. Oh, I wanna do another quick reminder about, so the Dashing Deer class to go. I'm not gonna go through, well, hi Kim, how are you? Um, I'm not gonna go through all the details because I know I did that before, but the, the Dashing Deer 
that well there's a stamp a stack class on october 25th and then there's also a to go kit class if you can't make it to the live class on the 25th um either option rsvps are due on monday october 15th so just in a couple days so i wanted to make sure everybody saw the cards one more time because they're super duper cute and i'm like feeling really i gotta like pat myself on the back i'm feeling really proud because a lot of times i don't have <laughs> all these cards ready to go but i do this time so I'm excited to show you them too. So I showed these last week, so we'll not um, belabor it too much, but I just wanted to make sure one more time that everybody knew that's the second card. Here's the third one. And then here is the last one, right? I love that copper foil too on the paper and on the reindeer. So stamp a stack class. You're gonna make those four cards. You make three of each of them. The stamp set is included in the class fee. If you wanna add on the detailed deer framelits, you can do that. The, I'll put all the links for um, the options, whether you wanna do the live class or the to-go kit class. So you can sign up for those. But RSVPs are due on Monday. So make sure you, if you're wanting to do that, make sure you do it by Monday, okay? Um, let's see, you know, checking my notes. But I think, okay, we're ready to go. Let's see Marianne saying the dashing. Oh, thank you, Marianne. Yeah, so yeah, that's right. It was the, of course, it was the product of the week this week. That was kind of intentional, right? I'm, <laughs> you know, that's how you have to do it, right? So yeah, there have been so many, all the projects that I have made at different conventions and events, and then Stampin' Up! has some wonderful ideas. And then obviously there are a million ideas on Pinterest and other people's blogs too. So if you don't have that stamp set, I think it's an, um, a very wise investment. So yeah, you could get it with the um, Dashing Deer class to go or the live class if you're interested, okay? So, all right, I think we are ready. We're gonna move the camera down because I have um, some more fun stuff to show you, but I don't wanna do it backwards. You know what? I learned that there is like a setting on here that kind of flips it. So, you know, like when I show you this card and it says many merry thanks and you can't really read it, there's a way to flip it so it will not be backwards, but it's almost like it flips everything behind me, which is fine. That's not a big deal. But the problem is if I, then when I move the phone down here, then everything is backwards still. And then that defeats the purpose of that, right? And there, I don't think there's a way for me to change the settings once I've started the live. So I, cause I contemplated like, oh, maybe I should switch it. So everybody, you know, when I show things right here, you can see them, but I don't think I can do that because then when I move the camera down here, everything will be backwards and that's that would be really annoying I think so because that's why I try not to show too much right here I do a little bit here and chat with you guys and then I move the camera down so I can really show you what we're doing so okay let me um, do that turn your heads away just for a quick sec we're gonna get this little guy moved and set up okay let's flip the camera down okay that looks all right there. So, okay, let me see. Here we go. That's what I was looking for, the one thing. I was in my panic. Oh, my goodness. So you guys know the drill, right? If you put in at least a $30 order by next Wednesday, you're going to get the projects that I demonstrate at the end of the video, and your name goes in the drawing to win that Buffalo Check stamp set, right? You also just make sure to use host code U C Q E V D 2 9. And if you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment too. So yes, lots of lots and lots and lots of free stuff. Okay, so this is what I want to show you guys next. The you may have seen, I've posted it online, but I want to this one I do want to go through because I haven't done that yet on our live class. But this is the frosted floral class to go, okay? So we actually have five different options for this class, okay? Um, let me show you the cards and then I'll tell you about the different options. I think that works best. So you, in this class to go, you make two of each card, okay? So here is the first, this is our congratulation. I love these sprigs too. So I do all of your die cutting and embossing. I give you all of the parts and pieces that you need to make two of each of these cards. This one is, um, this says, here's to a season filled with warmth, comfort, and good cheer with beautiful deep colors and then the fun gold accents. Two of this card that says, wishing you all the best. 
and then two of another. This one also says wishing you all the best with some more fun detail on it. So I just, oh my gosh, all the shimmer and fun of the paper. I loved working with the paper, with the stamp set, with the framelits, all of it. Just so much fun. So this is the first frost stamp set that you receive in class. You have to have the stamp set to complete your class to go projects, right? Because I can't do the stamping for you. So the sentiments are that congratulations, that here's to a season filled with warmth, comfort, and good cheer. Well, hi, Liz, how are you? And then there's another wishing you all the best. Liz, I'm telling everybody about my latest class to go. It's the Frosted Floral Class to Go. You can get everything shipped to you and then make projects when your new babies are sleeping. <laughs> or maybe you sleep when the babies are sleeping. That's probably a better idea, right? Um, okay, so that's the stamp set. Then the set of coordinating framelits, the Frosted Bouquet Framelits. It is gorgeous, isn't it, Sunday? I know, or excuse me, Susie, I love this set as well. These are all the framelits. Many of them uh, coordinate with the images in the stamp set, so they cut everything out beautifully. There are a couple of labels here, which I love. I always love the labels, too, so I've used those on a ton well, on these projects and then a ton of other projects, too, okay? So let me tell you about the different options, okay? So option number one includes the first frost stamp set, and the frosted bouquet framelits, and then all, well, four cards, two of each, so eight cards total, plus, and I don't have those here with me, but the, um, on here you can see the frosted and clear epoxy shapes. I forgot to bring those, but you get a full pack of those so that you can use them on your cards as well, okay? So tons and tons of stuff that comes. Oh, yes, you miss crafting. Oh, and you know what, Liz? You're, you're saying that you're going to the Masonic crop in November, and Stampin' Up! went and scheduled our on-stage convention that same weekend. So I'm actually going to be there instead of at the Masonic Crop. But I have another gal in my group. Her name is Sunday, and she will be at the Masonic Crop. So you can, you can uh, meet Sunday and see all the fun stuff that she does as well. Um, okay, so then I got off track, right? Okay, so the stamp set, the framelits, four cards, two of each of them, so eight cards total, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put everything together, plus I'm throwing in a bolt of this gold one-eighth inch trim with option number one that is $79, okay? Then option number two does not include the frosted bouquet framelits. I always do all your die cutting for you, but maybe you love these framelits and want to have them on your own too. So in this case though, I'll cut all these pieces and then you do your stamping, okay? So option number two is the stamp set, four cards, two of each, eight cards total, plus those um, frosted and clear epoxy shapes and the PDF tutorial, that option number two is $47, okay? Option number three is if you already have the stamp set and possibly the framelits, right? So it's just the cards, four of each of them, well, four total, two of each, plus the clear and um, frosted epoxy shapes, right? Or droplets, I guess they're called. That option number three is $29, okay? Option number four is always the PDF tutorial, $15, that just tells you step-by-step -step how to put everything together. You don't get any product, it's just the PDF tutorial, and that's always available even after the RSVP deadline has come and gone, because that's, you know, that you can always use that, right? Um, that option is $15, and then option number five is always for anyone in my downline in the Inkspired Stampers group, you get all of the parts and pieces for the make and takes, two of each card, right? Um, it's $12 to get all the parts and pieces. Basically, that's cost for everything. You buy your own stamp set, and if you choose your framelits under your own demo ID to get your discount, okay? The other thing you guys need to know is the ink pad colors. Make sure you have gray granite, uh, tranquil tide, mint macaron, pear pizzazz, um, soft sea foam, that's funny, it's hard to read. And then actually you also need the this one that's on here, which I have, because I'm gonna show you guys a card that uses that ink. It is the Blackberry Bliss. You need that ink pad as well, okay? So quite a few ink pads, but they work, they are so beautiful and they coordinate perfectly with all the designer series paper. Um, let's see, what, what else do you guys need to know? RSVPs are due on Friday, October 19th. So that's next Friday, right, already? Yep, next Friday. And then the class to go kits will ship out 
no later than October 31. So Halloween, those to-go kits will all be heading out to everybody. So let me know if you have any questions. There is a YouTube video on um, Gathering Inspiration Stamp, Stamp Studio YouTube channel. Um, let's see. Yeah, so, and you can always check that out there too. I probably did a better job explaining it over there than I do over here. Um, let's see. Does option three include the ribbons? You get, so I'll give you, Marianne, the ribbon for, you always get the ribbon. So you're gonna get the ribbon for this two, to make two of that card, the ribbon for this one for two of that card, yep, and the velvet, both of the velvets, yeah. So you'll get what you need. It's not full bolts of anything, but yes, option three gives you everything that you need, um, just not the stamp set and the framelits, but you get all the parts and pieces, and that assumes that you have the stamp set so you can do your own stamping. So yeah, you'll get every single piece. So I die cut everything, I punch everything, I give you the metallic pearls, I give you the ribbon, everything that you need other than the stamps and the ink, basically, in option number three, okay? So yeah, I'd love to get a to-go kit out to anyone that's interested, okay? And let me know if you have any more questions. Sorry, sometimes I, I think everybody kind of knows how I do things, but you know, that's in my own brain, right? <laughs> and that, thank goodness, nobody else lives there. <laughs> okay, so you guys, I have a bunch of swap cards to show you. I have been kind of holding out because I've had so many other things to tell everybody about. And so I'm like, okay, this is the perfect time to show you um, a bunch of swap cards that I have received in the last little bit, I would say. So actually, I have to show you guys this one and I should have showed you earlier. Well, hi, Nikki, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Um, okay, so this uses that Buffalo Check background stamp and she did an amazing job of kind of putting that together and then um, putting it, you know, very detailed. Um, but I love, we probably have to open this one too. So this one was made by Olivia Studley. And we have to, I need I need to show you guys because I'm not even sure um, how this card works. So let's check it out. Okay, um, it's got to be a fun fold. Ooh. Okay. So can you see this? Oh my gosh. Okay, I have seen this before, but it's very amazing in real life, right? So it's an actual card, like right. It's a regular card base, but then it's just scored and cut in a different way. So then it will stand up. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see that? It'll stand up like that then. Oops, keep it in, in the frame there for you guys to see. So yeah, beautiful. Oh my gosh, she did an amazing job. I'm gonna have to put that out like that so everybody can see how cool it is. So I'm taking these down to the stamp studio next after I show you guys all these things. So that one was awesome and I mainly, well, the fold is cool but I had to show you because it used that Buffalo Check stamp set too. So, and I was gonna kind of try to show you guys. You guys have all seen these all week long though, right? So this card features the Dashing Deer stamp set. Maybe I'll move that. Should I move it right here? Yep, so it features the Dashing Deer stamp set and then some of the festive farmhouse designer series paper that was part of one of the products of the week, probably in the last two weeks or so, I would say. So that's another awesome one. And this one is from Celine Kempton. She always does beautiful work. Love that card too, Miss Celine. And then let's see what's next. Ooh, okay, so this one is the beautiful bobble stamp set on page 10. Maybe I should get this right into the view. There we go. Yeah, so check this out. So she stamped, oh my gosh, stamped this stamp a couple of times and then added some other fun um, designer series paper, of course, die cut with the detailed bobbles thinlets. So very, very pretty. And then with some of that, ooh, so she used that, my black glittered organdy ribbon that I kept thinking is just for Halloween because it's kind of in the Halloween section, but she used it for a Christmas card and it looks awesome. And this is from Inkin' with Dink. So this is Dina La Lanzendorf, I think is how you say her name. So very cute. I like that one. Okay, next up, oh, let's see, I got a few of them. Uh, how many are there? Let me find over where oh i think it is right here yep well kind of oh i know where that sentiment's from but this so i i love the paper that's what really caught my eye that is some of the santa's workshop specialty designer series paper she used a bunch of awesome products on here and then that bow is from some framelit set that is 
escaping me right now. Or maybe that's a punch. Maybe that's from, we'll come across that, I think. I think that's from the, um, um, the candy cane punch, I think, has that bow. And then this is the stamp from the, um, gosh, I'm drawing a blank on a lot of names here. But can I find it? Let's see, it's because, man, she used a bunch, like I said, of different things, so they're not all in the right order. But the Timeless Tidings, yep, she used that stamp, that May the Warmth of Christmas fill each corner, right? It's that one right there in the Timeless Tidings stamp set that goes with that Timeless Tidings um, project or card kit. Beautiful. So lots of fun stuff used on that one, right? Um, and that one is from Jody Deering, is her name. And okay, so this was the other one, super duper cute. So the gal that organizes the swap every month, or not month, but every time she does a swap, she'll send a little pillow gift. Um, Carol Hickman is her name. So this was her cute little pillow gift. And look, she gave, I think it's a necklace. I haven't even taken it out yet, um, but a super cute little Santa necklace, right? And then this is more of that, and I'm feeling it like you can feel it, but it's got that um, flocking on it, I think it's called on some of that Santa's Workshop Designer Series paper. Um, super, it's like fuzzy, super cute. And then she used the swirls and curls embossing folder there too. So very, very cute. And then more, here's more of that paper, right? More of the Santa's Workshop paper with the flocking on it. She used the subtle embossing folder. I don't know if you can see that, maybe not in the light and with that glimmery package on it, but another cute one with this stamp that says, may your season be merry and bright. Very, very cute. I love the layering too with the starburst punch and then the, I think those are all circle punches. Oh, and who's that from? Oh, I don't know. It might be on the inside, but we're not opening today. So, oh, one more. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, here's that bow. You know how I was saying? Oops, this bow right on here is that bow that's part of the punch. Let's see if we can find that. Because that uses the Santa's Workshop Designer Series paper. Oh, and then look at that. Here we go. So here is the candy cane builder punch. So it punches out that size candy cane and then that bow, which is what is right there, right? And then the cute little bee jolly. And she must have hand cut because that's the holly right there, but there's no punch or framelit that cuts that out. So I always find that very impressive when people hand cut in swaps because that's a lot of hand cutting, right? And this is from Kathy Williams. Very, very cute. I love the twine too, the baker's twine that she used on that. And okay, so, oh, let me see if I can find this next one. Um, oh, here it is right here. So this one is the Tags and Tidings stamp set. So not a stamp set, it's actually one big kind of background stamp. So you stamp all of that on your paper and then there's a framelit that lays right over it and cuts all of those tags out. Or you can use it like a background stamp like she did right here and just stamp it right on your cardstock. She used that corrugated embossing folder, some of the red glimmer paper. Can you see that in the right light, right? And then some of that beautiful, um, this is the copper and Mary Merlot reversible ribbon. And I love how she cut those, the ribbons ends like that too. So very, very cute with, again, using lots of different products. And what else do we have? Flipping through, I'm trying to see where that one comes so I'm not showing you yet, but you'll see in a sec. Where is it? I don't think I flipped past it, or maybe I have. Well, if I have, maybe I have. We might have to skip that one for now. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna skip a couple of them. We're gonna go right to, so this is the country home, a beautiful kind of fall, country lane suite, a beautiful fall suite of products. So here's one, simply thankful for all the good things. That's that stamp right there. I wasn't sure I read it right, so I'm like hesitating. But very cute. I love that poppy paper too, right? Very, very pretty. This one is from Lori Service, okay? And then this next one, I can't remember if I showed you guys or not yet, but I love, because that's that, um, the tin tile embossing folder that's right there on page 43. Oh my gosh, all the detail. And then she actually used some of the shimmer paint on there too beautiful and then with the stamp and then she did some coloring it's gorgeous this one is from monica monica giberti i think is how you say her name and then there's one i think one more yep using this suite of products so again that tin tile embossing folder that really cute stamp with the braided linen trim 
I love how she offset those two, those scallop square framelits. That's such a cute idea like that, right? And then this one is from Linda Funnel. Oh, so many good ideas, ladies. How are we gonna ever, we, there's never time to use them all, right? This one actually I loved so much. We used this at card class, at the Simple Beautiful card class last month. And can you see how she pulled apart so the braided linen trim, if I get really close there, you can really see it. So it actually, you can see the braiding. So she just kind of pulled it apart a little bit and then tied it in a bow. And then with the thinking of you with a grateful heart from that Falling for Leaves stamp set. And this one is from Marsha Gay. And then just a couple more. Let me see. Yes, from this Toil and Trouble suite of products, the Halloween. Had to save Halloween for last because it's the you know, the next holiday coming up, right? So the cauldron bubble um, stamp set and then the cauldron framelits with some of the fun toil and trouble designer series paper. So they just, well, they probably use the um, framelits or maybe they even hand cut that little, um, the hat, the witch's hat right there with the happy Halloween. I love how they sponged in there too, right? Super cute and I bet that has a fun fold on it too. Um, oop, I don't know who that one's from. And then one more, another, this is just a cute, simple one too. I love that designer series paper and all the fun colors in there with the trick or treat and some of the black baker's twine. And this one is from Melanie Smith. Oh, from Flowery Branch, Georgia. That's a fun name. I would like to live in Flowery Branch, Georgia. <laughs> I love that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed those swaps. I think we are ready to do some stamping now. Who's ready to do some stamping, right? Okay, let me get that stuff cleared out of the way, and we're gonna do our demonstration. Okay, gotta find my grid paper. It's under here. I think I've got it right here. All right, everybody's really quiet. You guys doing all right? Okay, let's see. You can still see that, I wanna get this. This helps me know if I'm in view, if I have my, my grid paper in the right place, then I know. If I'm working on the grid paper, you can see what I'm doing, right? Okay, so I think we're good. All right, so let's see our first card. Let me get all my parts and pieces out and show you. Okay, so this is one that we're making down at card class today. I love this, the candy cane stamp and then that um, bow punch I was showing you guys on those swaps, right? So can you see, and then teeny tiny, this says ho, 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 and it's almost like it's flying through the air, I feel like with some of the red rhinestones on there too. We are, oh, the sun is trying to peek out, so we're getting funny glares, but we're just going with it. I don't. I may not be dragging my table around anymore. We'll see. For the summer, I didn't really have to do that. I think it's like fall and winter when the sun is like lower. Oops, excuse me, that was, <laughs> that was stuck back there. I didn't even realize it. So here is, oh, thank you, Susie. I am enjoying this stamp set for sure. So it's the Candy Cane Season stamp set with the fun bows and the holly. This says, be jolly. And then we've got, tis the sweet season and for you. Oh, and this is cute. This says, have yourself a sweet little Christmas that's in the shape of the candy cane. There, maybe if I put it down there, not quite so much glare, right? Okay, so I think we are ready to do our stamping. I think, I think. Okay, let me get all. So this was the punch too, if you guys haven't seen the, um, the candy cane and then the bow right there too. And I'll tell you, there's kind of, I have my notes, of course, for everybody else down at the studio, so I'm hoping I can remember. Because you know those builder punches, it kind of helps if you strategically place your stamps on your paper. And I'll show you, I'll tell you what I mean by that. So let's see, let's do, let's start out with our crumb cake ink and the ho, ho, ho. So the hardest part is probably making sure that it's not upside down. It's such teeny tiny print. Can you guys see what I'm doing? There. So we're inking it up in crumb cake ink. I'm just kind of angling that a little bit, okay? So there's our ho, 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 right? That's all we need our crumb cake for. Then we've got a real red ink that we are gonna do these cute little snowflakes and dots. And these just kind of get sprinkled around on the paper a little bit, right? And then I think that's all, nope, I know. Let's do our Be Jolly in our Coastal Cabana. 
Yay, I'm so happy that this color is back. And this, I love this color combination. I think I used it on something else recently too and it really reminded me how much I enjoy it. So there's our little Bee Jolly. Okay, so this is done. Now, let me show you what I was trying to say before. So this candy cane, we're gonna put the paper in this way. So we wanna stamp our candy cane on the left-hand side of our paper. And then the bow in our Coastal Cabana ink, we wanna stamp, I'm sorry, we wanna stamp the candy cane on the right-hand side of the paper and we wanna stamp the bow on the left-hand side of the paper. I may have said that wrong, I feel like I did. So, okay, here we go, our bow on the right-hand side of the paper and our candy cane, and actually that's not tall enough. Uh, the strips down at the studio are wide, but that's not gonna fit. So this isn't really gonna matter. I think if we do it like this, we're gonna be just fine, okay? Let's pop these in the punch and see what we've got. Okay, so again, to reiterate my point, I stamped this on the right-hand side of my paper so that, because can you see if you stamped it over here, then you'd get that whole um, candy cane punched also. But if you do it on this side of the paper, then you might get a little bit of some part of the candy cane, but that doesn't really matter, right? Just line that guy up and squeeze. And there's our punch and we don't need that piece, okay? And then, so this one is only gonna be good for this first punch. If you had more in a line, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cut your card stock like this. I cut it so you can stamp them vertically across a strip of paper, if that makes sense. I guess if you're only doing one, it doesn't really matter, right? Oh, and look at that, you got an extra little bow almost. There, okay, so that's all we need for that. So now, let me give you measurements. So this white piece measures, it's three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. That's what gives just that little bit of red peeking out behind because then this one measures, I'll do this the same way, right? This one measures three and three quarters by five. So that just goes, just kind of see that red peeking out there, right? And then of course our card base in our Coastal Cabana cardstock, right? So we cut it in half along the 11 inch side, right? At five and a half right there. And then we scored it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches to get our crisp fold on our card, right? Okay. Adhesive, good, I have it. I think last time I forgot. You know what I forgot again are my dimensionals. I'm realizing that right now. So maybe in the interest of time, I'll do those later, we'll see. I can probably run and grab them. That would be okay. So I just wanna make sure that's about the same amount of red peeking out on all sides, right? And then we're gonna use some more adhesive and you wanna use a pretty good amount because now with these two layers of cardstock, you have to make sure it stays on your card, right? So give it a good amount of adhesive, right? Okay, give me one sec. I'm gonna go grab my dimensionals. I can't believe I did that again this week. I'm like, I'm not even going to stand there and try to sort through what's what. So let's use some of our little baby dimensionals on the back. Those are going to work really well on the back of our little candy cane. So just so cute. I just, I've had a lot of fun with this stamp set this week. I'm kind of envisioning, you know, lots of other fun things that we can do with this, and I always love the punches, right? They're so easy to work with. And then we're gonna put another little guy right on the back of our bow and pop him on here as well. Okay, so we got that right there. And then let's see what else. Oh, okay, so I finally have my take your pick tool. I've been meaning to show you guys this, right? So there's the one end that if you are working like with sequins, it has like a little sticky putty. I'll pop that open so you can kind of see this is, so you would just, if you had a sequin actually, yeah, look at that. So here's my little back of my um, dimensional. You probably can't even see it, but there. So I just picked it up. It's like a little bit of a little tacky. So then if you wanted to put that on your project, you just do that 
and then pull it away, right? So we're not obviously putting the back of a dimensional on our project, but that's how that end works, right? And then this is almost like a little spatula right here. So this is gonna help us. It's funny, because as I'm looking, I can see a couple of the glue dots didn't come off of here. Those were used at class and they did not use the take your pick tool, which I did have on the table for everybody, right? So just like a little spatula, you just kind of pop underneath there and pick it up. And I'm just putting a couple of our red rhinestones. The hardest part is getting that, kind of getting the glue dot underneath there. And then maybe one more. Actually, we're gonna put it right there. Yeah, okay. How about that, huh? Super cute. The last step is, actually, let me put my little cap back on my take your pick tool. The other, there are actually other ends that I did not bring. I'll show you this another time. But there, these, this guy, I think, I don't, maybe he twists. Yeah, I think he twists out. But this guy comes out right here, and then there are a couple of scoring tools. One's a, like a little bit skinnier, one's a little bit fatter that can fit right in here too. So it's got lots of, Lots of different things that you can use this for. And then this one actually comes with another end that has the little sticky putty on it. And then you can buy refills too. So lots of good uses with that take your pick tool. So our last step is I use some of our clear Wink of Stella. This is how I kind of like to shake it up, okay? And then this, do not unscrew. You just pull it straight off. And it looks like we've got some Wink of Stella right on there. Now this is gonna be hard to see in this light. Um, it takes a little bit for it to dry, but I'll show you the one, right? So I'm just gonna add a little bit of shimmer, and this is gonna take longer to dry than I am going to allow right now. But the idea over here on our card that I did earlier, can you see all of that shimmery shininess on there? Once it dries, that's what it looks like. So. How fun is that, huh? Super just cute, simple, easy. Love that holiday card, right? Okay, I gotta move that one out of the way that has my wet, <laughs> my wet wink of Stella, so I don't, you have to set that aside and let it dry for a little while, right? Okay, and I'm gonna grab my chamois right now too, and let's clean these little guys off, okay? So just rub that right on there. You see how it comes, takes all my ink off. There's nothing left on here. I used to, even with my scrub pad, I'd get little shadows, right? This thing, it's almost like it just absorbs all of our ink, right? And then I'm gonna do one, get that guy, there. So now these are all ready for me to take back down to class. Okay, let me scoot this stuff out of the way and I'm gonna show you guys our other project. Hmm. I feel like I'm getting a runny nose too. Oh my goodness. Is it the weather around here? I don't know. I'm going to leave that one there. Okay. All right. So let me show you. Did I miss? I feel like I missed something. Oh, Mary Ann says that she likes the colors. Thank you. Yeah, that Coastal Cabana in real red. I think I said that before. I know I've used this on another card. I can't remember if I demoed it or if I just showed you, but I love that color combination. Oh, and yeah, the stamp set. You're right, because I think it's the other projects on that page too, Kim, that don't make it super eye-catching. I don't think either. You're right, you're right. So, um, oh, you know, one thing while I'm getting stuff out here, I wanted to mention too that um, when you share the video, I love to see it too, and it's fun. If you'll tag me, so tag just my Amy Howe for Leachie, tag that name when you do the post, um, then that helps me be able to see when you've shared it too. I just, I love that. So thank you, I appreciate all of your shares too, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And the other thing I was wanting to mention too was make sure if you guys are working on anything at home, you know, I kind of always jokingly say, you know, we're pretty darn excited about what we're making, but not always everyone else in the house is as excited, right, as we are. But you know what, everybody else on our Facebook group, they would be really excited to see it. They'd be excited for you and they'd be excited for you to share. So make sure you put whatever you've been working on lately, just post that on our Facebook group because we love to see what everybody's up to, right? Okay, so here is our next project that of course features, where's my, I gotta make sure to bring these, that first frost stamp set and the frosted bouquet framelits. This one was actually a swap. I didn't show you this earlier with all my swaps because I wanted to show you it right now because I thought it was so 
cute, and you're going to see why in a sec, that I had to make sure that I show you guys on our Facebook Live video. So this was actually a swap from Sandy Carlson, is her name. Super duper duper cute. So check this out, right? This is like, ooh, you're going to be like shocked and amazed. Isn't this fun? Look at, <gasps> yay! Isn't that so cute? So it's, I have not made like this style of a fold of a card. So I'm like, I got to show everybody. And then we're making this down at the studio too. But basically, if you love this card and you love the stamp set and the framelits, you probably better get that frosted bouquet uh, class, frosted floral, whatever it's called, that class to go that I showed you earlier. Because this, you could make this card easily too with everything that you get in that class to go, right? You would have, this one's not a part of it. Don't let me confuse you with that. But this one's so easy, you're gonna know exactly how to make it after I show you right now. So, okay, let me tell you, I'm gonna give you dimensions right now so I don't forget, because this is cool. This is the Blackberry Bliss cardstock and this is the card base that just measures the four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So you could get four card bases out of one piece of cardstock right? Because that's it. There's nothing like this is the only fold in it, right? Okay, so that's our Blackberry Bliss piece. Then we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures three and one quarter by nine inches. And then we scored it in half at five and a half inches, okay? So there's our card, really. Isn't that fun? Just super simple, kind of teeny tiny. And then a couple more pieces our Blackberry Bliss cardstock that measures three inches by four and a quarter inches, and then some of that beautiful frosted floral, I think it is, designer series paper. Can you see there? Catch that shimmeriness in there. Every single piece of paper in that pack of designer series paper has all that shimmeriness. It's a beautiful, even on this side too. It's a little, maybe a little bit harder to see, but with the gray granite and those sprigs, so this piece measures two and three quarters by four inches, okay? So we can probably put a couple of things together, maybe so I don't lose anything, right? So we're gonna put this one right on here, all right? And then we are gonna add a little bit of ribbon. This is the cheater bow. I've showed you guys this before, I believe. This is actually, this is kind of cool too. So this is Fresh Fig, the ruffled ribbon, and then obviously with our Blackberry Bliss cardstock, but I think they coordinate really nicely together. Okay, so this one, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Yep, I am gonna pop that up on dimensionals, but this is gonna be okay. So I'm gonna do a strip of ribbon with my cheater bow, or making a cheater bow, I guess I should say. Right, so we got that one there and that one there. And then I'm gonna come back and I keep my ribbon on the bolt because I think that's the easiest way to work with it. And I'm just gonna tie a little knot right around my strip of ribbon that I just put on. And just don't pull super tight so you don't you know, pull the adhesive off or something. So just tie it in a little knot. And don't pull too tight either for two reasons. So that you don't pull it off the back here, but also so it doesn't get too squinched up. So I think that's when bows don't look so pretty when that knot right there is super tight. Then I think they're not as they're not as attractive. And then you can just slide that over a little bit. And then why don't we add some dimensionals? Because that adhesive is sticking, making my card stick a little bit to my work surface. So we're gonna do all of that. So that is pretty much ready to go, right? I'm gonna lay that out of the way, scoop my ribbon. Now let's do our stamping. So I have my Blackberry Bliss ink, one of my favorite. I love this deep, deep, deep purple. It's perfect for this time of year, right? This fall, okay? With our Blackberry Bliss ink and then our Here's to a Season filled with warmth, comfort, and good cheer, okay? I did do that. I was like, which way is right side up? But it doesn't matter because we're gonna just die cut it with our Big Shot. So let me grab my Big Shot here. Everybody doing all right? You guys are so quiet. I guess that's good, right? Then I can concentrate, <laughs> I think. Maybe that helps me. Okay, so these were the labels that I was talking about, the Frosted Bouquet labels right here. Okay, so we're gonna pop these out. 
right? And, oh, this is cool. So check this out. This is a teeny, teeny, tiny one that makes it a little bit smaller than that larger label. So the biggest thing is it's so tiny, it's a little bit hard to figure out which has the edge, that the ridge, I guess, that cuts our framelit. I have accidentally put it on upside down and then it's stuck <laughs> to the um, cutting pad instead of actually cutting my paper. So then you just flip it over and run it again. So, oh, thank you for the share, Marianne. I appreciate that. I really, really, really do appreciate, yeah, all of the shares. It helps me kind of, you know, spread the word about all the stamping fun that we are having. I appreciate that. Okay, so that's all we needed to do was kind of run those through. And I did put that on the right way. Yep, otherwise this wouldn't pop out. And then you just flip it over and run it again. Not really a big deal. And then this other label right there too. Okay, let's, I'm gonna put those right back in there so I don't forget about them. Scoot our big shot out of the way. Those plates are pretty well loved these days. They are kind of a mess. Okay, we're gonna add some more adhesive on the little label. And I love this layering too. I'm a sucker for that. All right, and then put a couple more um, dimensionals on there, right? Okay, let's see, what are we gonna do now? Oh, well, we've got our card base. We can add our white piece to our card base, right? So let's run. We want a good amount of adhesive on this guy because this is actually our card that's going to kind of open and close. Okay, so lay that right down in there. This thing. So if you don't press too hard, if it's not straight, you can pick it up and move it, but I think that looks good. Okay, then we've got this whole panel that we already put together, right? So we are going to pull our little guys off of here, right? Our dimensionals, the sun is shining. Oh my gosh, it makes all the fall colors on the leaves. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a little bit, you know, they're not quite as beautiful when it's dreary, but oh my gosh, yay, the sun. <laughs> I feel like we haven't had this very much lately. Okay, peeling the dimensionals off there. And we're gonna pop that one right about there. Is it straight? I'm being anal. Okay, there, I think that looks good. So there we go, right? Ooh, we got oh, lots of glares. Okay, that's all right though. So there's our other card. Yay, isn't that so fun? I just, I loved, just a cute, simple little, but it fits right in an envelope, just like a regular card would. Just something different for us, right? So, all right, let me scoot that guy out of the way. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm, checking my time. I'm like, okay, all right, we're doing okay. Got to head down to the stamp studio soon for class. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure, quick recap here for you guys. Where is this too? Okay, so don't forget if you put at least a $30 order in by Wednesday, you're going to get both of these projects that I demonstrated today in your thank you card and your name goes in the drawing to win the Buffalo check background stamp, right? If you bump your order up to $50, you also get a free embellishment in your thank you package. Make sure you use this host code, the UCQEVD29. If you forget, it's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you can get out and enjoy the sunshine today wherever you are. And we'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Great weekend. Bye, everybody. Oh, and thank you, Marianne. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Bye, guys.